what an outstanding day. Hello everybody, this is just a quick shout out. It is spontaneous. Uh, I can't see a thing on my screen because of all the sun and I hope you can see my face because the sun is really strong today. So as I was saying, I just finished a call with a client and it was a really interesting conversation that we had about being an artist and then suffering. And this client is a long client of mine. As usual, I am never telling the details about the client. But nevertheless, what we were talking about was actually very, very interesting because it was a topic that is coming up again and again when I'm we're with clients it's about the necessity of, of suffering when you are an artist when you are an artist there are many possibilities <coughs> uh, in which you can suffer the life of an artist is a difficult one there, there are relationships that an artist is having is also sometimes uh, yeah, sometimes that is not not so easy. So there are many possibilities. Perhaps you you have your own experiences uh, how you can, as an artist, get into the suffering, and it doesn't feel good. I, on my own, am suffering also. This is a part of the artist's life, and what we are talking about actually brought some ideas how to actually less avoid it but how to see it from a different perspective that perhaps will allow to end the endless suffering of, of the artist and uh, to understand this we have to also to understand the different parts the different facets of being an artist because an artist is this it sounds always like it would be just one thing, but nevertheless, artists are humans and humans are also in a way complicated or they are a synthesis, a fusion of, of different parts. <coughs> and when we understand that actually saying I am an artist or you are an artist, we mean totally different different things than what you could understand about this. Let's say um, a different uh, kind of person, let's say uh, a doctor. A doctor is also, you can imagine, a human being that has some skills and is doing some work and when you actually think how we are defining a doctor it is more of a occupation less of a person but more more the skill set uh, the things that this person is doing and uh, the personal or the characteristic the human characteristic is playing a far a, a far smaller role or a manager in first place when you think about a manager it's not the person, this, this, how uh, he or she develop, uh, what kind of personality she is having, but it is a function nevertheless. And in art, when we are talking about the artist, we are actually leaving behind more the function and are seeing more the, the human behind this. Normally when we think a great artist is also a uh, interesting person with the interesting character and so on. There's far more being an artist than just the function and the, the skill set. So when we are talking about the suffering artist, what we actually mean is that we don't think about the part of, of skills and, and the abilities, but we are more talking on the human character side. and. This is also the curse of being an artist. When you are an artist, your character, your personality and 
uh, your skill set are fusing together to this role of an artist. It is not separate like with a manager and uh, with a doctor perhaps that uh, uh, they have a function and this function is more important than anything else. So when we are thinking about the suffering artist, it's not the art part, it is actually the personality part. And this becomes really tricky because many people, like the client I was talking about before, became artists. So they are not just a function, because when you work and you are a manager, you are 8 to 12 hours a day, a function. They are not the uh, company that is actually paying you, is not interested in your human side, but it is interested more in the in your ability, skills, and what function you have in this company. And people who are deciding to become artists, to change their career, are changing it for the sake that they are not separated anymore in different roles. So they are, when they are a manager, when they are working, they are the manager. Then they are coming home and they are perhaps a father and they are jumping between many roles and many are becoming artists so everything is fused together to one this this artist that is everything the human the skill set and everything so they are uh, living a wholesome uh, life and this is a great advantage but it also has the curse that actually when one part or one factor in your life is causing you pain and suffering the whole role of an artist is suffering actually so when you have a person coming from a character that is that suffers a lot perhaps you have small depressions or you are not so happy with your life you are taking this small fraction that bef before didn't matter so much into a part that is then whole and is infecting the other parts so before when you are a manager and you are perhaps not a happy person it is perhaps your domestic life that is just suffering under it but in the function of a manager everything is working just fine so when this kind of person becomes now an artist he's taking this part that was before a smaller part and is it is becoming included to something a bigger to something bigger a bigger role and then the small part causes suffering in the whole part because now there is when you are an artist they are not just um, eight hours of work you are an artist you whole day you whole night so <clears throat> a small part is in a way infecting everything else and then this person thinks he or she is a suffering artist and forgets that it's just a small part that is suffering. And I see so many people trying to become artists to get a happier life. And they are actually forgetting that first you should become as a person, a happy person. And then you, you have the chance to become a happy artist. But being an artist will bring you not the happiness with becoming an artist you can you are becoming actually more vulnerable because now small things have an impact on on a greater scale when you are a manager and you are not a happy person it doesn't matter you can put on your suit and you can march into the office and then you are in this function you are functioning well so Perhaps you are not a happy person, but your function as a manager is not infected with it. But this turns around. This client of mine <clears throat> changed the role from manager, actually, to, to become an artist, to live a wholesome life. And before he decided to do so, he didn't care about the change of this, his character that was necessary and should happen before before the decision to become an artist. It is perhaps a little bit difficult to um, explain, but I can only, uh, only tell everybody that 
becoming an artist is more burden or, or work or take some preparation and it is not um, a possibility to fix things it is the other way around it is better sometimes to fix things before so there is no expectation to art or the artistic world that it will fix uh, things so when you are perhaps not a happy person and you are suffering a lot and you are a person that is um, is having many problems it art will not change it exactly what you have but, but what you have you have the chance to use the suffering to create art this is the great advantage that you have as a as an artist but to change your state of mind or the feelings this is not what art is here for it is it should be the other way around and the other advantage perhaps that uh, even when you are not a happy person to become an artist is that actually when you are a person that is suffering let's say in the office as a manager or as a doctor and you are a person that is knowing okay I'm suffering a lot when you are becoming an artist yes you will still suffer but nevertheless you are making more of your life you are becoming then a suffering artist and you can decide for yourself is it better to be a suffering manager no matter what this person is a suffering person or is it better to become a suffering uh, artist because as a suffering artist you can actually use the suffering to create something more to create something that is outstanding and in this way you are giving yourself a chance when you cannot change your character or you cannot change your suffering you can actually develop out of this pain something that's, that has a value something that perhaps can give you life a uh, meaning and in this way it is an outstanding op uh, opportunity um, there is much more about this uh, call that I have but I cannot go to the detail as always keeping secrets is part of my of my life of my job and it is I think important but nevertheless I hope this idea or my thoughts right now that are just uh, just after this call has some uh, value for you and uh, perhaps will change your mind about suffering as an artist or will give you a different perspective up on your own suffering and the possibility that as an artist we have the chance to just use this suffering for something else for something that is creating instead of destroying nevertheless i will take now a walk on this beautiful beautiful beach here to calm down a little bit i know my thoughts were a little bit scattered today but it was important for me to give you the, the value to develop during this call because i think when we are communicating together there's so much that can develop out of it and when we are sharing it we can be so much stronger together and it is important in our days that artists are keeping together and watch out for each other so this was a little bit of my contribution to this but now i will have a nice long walk on this beautiful beach i hope to see you in my next video until then see you soon bye bye